Well, morning YouTube. Welcome to day two. We're in Belgium and it's pouring the rain. But nonetheless, we're off on our way. Morning again YouTube. Camera issues, so I think everything's wet. And uh, we'll see how far we get. Losing scooters like flies, man. I think he's got an issue, has he? Has it died? Is he having trouble? What's happened? Nothing. Oh, I thought you were having trouble. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, see. I don't know. Yesterday when I went for a pee and come back, whether I put the steering lock on when I went for a pee. Has anyone seen Mike? Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> so that was car's problem, the Honda. Keyless ignition saga continues. Got it started with the combined mental power of the group. And uh, we're going to head to Germany. We're in Belgium. Germany's next. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, the sun will come out and everything will be beautiful this afternoon. Has anyone seen Mike? Oh, there he is. <laughs> that is the brightest set of waterproofs I've seen in my life. Not sure exactly where we are. We're in Belgium somewhere, heading for Brussels on the E40, riding for sausage. Couldn't all work at Ah, there's a vineyard. Welcome to Belgian pronunciation 101 for beginners. After 13 minutes, Meribelk. Meryl Peak, Meryl Peak, Meryl Becke, Meryl Becke, Usten Antwerpen, Zelzate, and Haven. Wetteren, 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 Wetteren. Who knows? I don't know how any of these places are pronounced. It's all Flemish. I saw a mouse. Where? Down the stairs. There on the stairs. Well, up there. A little mouse with clubs on. Oh, well, I didn't throw that. It's like click, click, tick, clock on the stairs. Right there. Oh, yeah. Coming through. All to the bike. Stand aside. It's a beautiful day, if I'm honest. This isn't the imagery I had in my mind when getting ready for this trip. I thought we'd be sliding through the mountains, blue skies and baking sunshine and stopping at a hotel early to get a cold beer on the terrace. We could do with a sausage sandwich about now actually. Well, these are the politest and nicest roadworks I've been in for ages. Well done Belgium, good effort. Traffic on a Saturday. Is there a match on? Brussels Athletic versus uh, Ghent Academicals. It's a big local derby. It's pulling in a big crowd. Or maybe the new IKEA has opened. Now, I'm loving the fact that the hotel we're staying in tonight, the Scandic Hafen Park in Frankfurt. Um, if you look on Google Street View, it hasn't been built yet. So I'm hoping that's quite an old photo. Yes, people. So this is how they do it, the Europeans. Thank you very much, my good man. Coming through, British Lords. Going for sausage. Step aside, I say. Coming through. Sausage-seeking, cycling Lords of Britain. Cycling? Well, you know what I mean. There you go, that's the soundtrack that I'm imagining. 
as we filter through this traffic. Coming through! The Lord's suit has been stashed, ready to live another day, when the weather is more lordly. Hopefully it'll still fit once I'm full of German sausage, in the eating way, I had to add, before all the jokes hit the comments about being full of German sausage. Welcome to Brussels Ring Road, people of YouTube. Let's see how this fares up against the peripherique which ranks highly amongst other European ring roads of note. Welcome to European ring roads of note, part two, the Brussels ring road. Famous for its ballet, obviously, uh, and its close relationship with the uh, Strongbeak Beaver. Which is, I thought that was extinct, the Strongbeak Beaver, but there you go, there's one there. Webble! I need to look up what Webble means later. Webble! It's quite a good word, I quite like it. It's a good word to shout. Webble! 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 I think I'm going a bit mad. This is a good time to talk about motorcycling and men's health. There are moments on a motorbike where you just feel like you might have lost the plot a little bit. Let's have a lovely bank holiday weekend away, darling. We'll drive over to Belgium and have a lovely time in the sunshine. Morning all. So here we are. We're in, uh, or just outside Liège, which is... Uh, somewhere in Belgium and uh, we're at beautiful services we've made it this far so far so good we've got here most people taking off their waterproofs got their cameras out and it started to rain again but there you go so uh, we're all good day two of the big adventure you have to pay to have a wee here which is a bit off-putting but it's all good we're looking forward to getting to the Scandic Hotel in Frankfurt hopefully get there a bit earlier so they get a bit of nice food have a walk around we'll show you a bit of that when we get there but uh, let's get back on the bikes, in the rain, and uh, see how we get on. Has anyone seen Mike? Oh, there he is. It's about two and three quarter hours to Frankfurt from here, but hopefully the weather's going to pick up and it's going to be a bit better, but I've plugged in my heated kit now, so it's getting a little bit chilly. And we're back out on the road! But this time, I've covered my face, but it's not getting cold. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, and I've got my heated kit on, so I'm not getting the core throws. It's a flying lord head on the Faradale Express. I think they're becoming quite close. That indicator is really getting quite droopy. It's a droopy indicator. It's a wonky vinker. And here is Lord Head on the barrel arrow. Settling in nicely, looking quite comfortable there actually. And I think uh, secretly he's quite enjoying it. So he won't be telling anyone that. Just going to show that Maradero in action. There they are. Looking good. Feeling great. 
sweeping along, cutting a flame profile. It's only a 400 that Triumph, but uh, it really licked along, it's quite quick. And he's not small, he's the same size as me. Here come the boys, there goes one, here comes another. Carl on the uh, Honda, there he goes. Here comes Mike on the Beamer. Has anyone seen Mike? Oh, there he is. Well, oh, looking good, it's a fine group of young lords. I know we talk about England's motorways and how dull they are, but I have to say, Belgium, your motorways are taking it to a new level. There really is nothing to see, apart from British lords and scooters. I'd like to take this opportunity to say welcome to Germany. I have a little bit of an achy bottom, I have to say. Welcome to more of the sights of Germany. Here we are in a lovely motorway service station somewhere near Cologne. We're uh, doing quite well. We're heading for Frankfurt, as you know, for sausage. This is where we're at. Not quite as nice as the uh, Hotel Ten Lande that we stayed in last night. That was a really funky place. We had a fantastic Chinese buffet meal next door. A couple of non-alcoholic beers, obviously. And uh, all got a relatively early night, so we're not feeling too bad today. We're just uh, debating the moral certitude of uh, charging one euro to have a wee here at the services in Belgium and, and uh, in Germany. Not only are you paying for the toll, you're paying for your fuel, you're paying your taxes. We've got to pay to have a wee. And to us, that's a bit extreme, but we're a group of middle-aged men, so most of us couldn't hold it for any longer, so we've all had to stump up a euro. So I'd like to thank Helmethead for sponsoring this wee out of his own pocket. This is what happens when the Belgian stag party arrives in the services. When you're having a nice quiet drink and a bit of a gather-up, the Belgian party bus arrives. This is what happens. So we're at the services. It appears the party's arrived. Here we go. Mad Belgians. No one knows what they want. They don't know what they want, but they're happy. They were happy enough. We set off now, approaching what looks like down the hill, the historic and very picturesque city of Cologne. So. Before we stop at the service, it's about 16 degrees and looking like rain, and we're five minutes down the road, it's 21 degrees, and the sun's out. Pretty 
pretty. Oh, pretty. Fastest type is in the west. Oh no, he's been thrown off by Julian on his Suzuki Bergman. Oh, here we are on the autobahn, whipping along. Thanks very much for building this road. And it's excellent. Good job. Not a bridge. Bobbing along, bobbing along, or the autobahn are bobbing along. Back to the blank song. Oh, that's a cool, funky caravan. Look at that. That's cool. And that is pink. That's properly pink. Yeah, your red Tesla's boring, mate, compared to that pink Peugeot. In 115 kilometres, turn left. Well, we're about 50 miles away from Frankfurt now, not far. We've had to stop for the last fuel stop. Not only for the bikes, but for me, because I'm bloody starving. Only one thing to do for it. You know it makes sense. Alright, last stretch. Into Sausage Town. 65 kilometres. About 35 miles. Ish. Well, it's been a good day today so far. I think I'm going to be started not too early. We had breakfast in the pouring rain, waiting for the rain to stop. So we didn't get going until about 10 o'clock. We pushed quite hard. We stuck to the motorways because it just became a bit of a mission to get to Frankfurt. It was raining for most of the day. We were a bike down. Everyone's tired from yesterday. So we're getting to Frankfurt for sausage and then we'll fabricate a plan for the route back and for how we're going to rescue and repatriate a dead bird, but it's, uh, it's all coming together. We're about half away, well, we're about half an hour away now from Sausage Town, so we'll take you with us as we ride into the big city. Welcome to the official outskirts of Frankfurt. That's what I say. Now we're getting close, I can smell the sausage. Welcome to Sausage Town. <laughs> Let's all cross the river. Let's all cross the river. That was it, wasn't it? Uh, it's, it's that building, yeah. where, where the building works are. <laughs> I've been there on Google Street Map. <laughs> Just go through there. Just go through there. Go back down. Go through there and go back down. <laughs> Do a U-turn. Do a U-turn. Where's he going?
turn that way. This is it. This is the building. I just don't know where the entrance is. It's in, it's in this building. I just don't know where the door is. Yeah. Well, there you go. We made it. Nearly all of us. Scandic Haffen Park, Frankfurt. We've ridden for sausage and uh, and we're all here. I'm about to get run over. I'll just step out of the road for a second. There's no respect in the media anymore, is there? Anyway, we're here and uh, there you go. We've arrived. What a journey. Bit of a mission, but we've all made it here. We're all safe and that's the main thing. So now, time for a beer, I think. Thank you very much for organising it. Thank you so much. This is Helmet Head's idea. Apparently we just walked down the railway line and that's where we find food. This is the last time you ever hear from us. It was his fault. So the search for sausage continues. This is where he's brought us. This is where he thinks we're going to find it. It's a nice romantic dinner for us all. So we've uh, we found a restaurant eventually. It's a meat restaurant. In fact, it's such a meat restaurant that they only do meat, no fries, no desserts. They just do meat. So we've got about two and a half kilos of different types of meat coming. And... Uh, Oh, I think it'll be mighty meaty.